Greetings everyone, welcome to the channel. We are the Lion Gaming Crew, and in this Diablo 3 build guide video, we're going to be taking a look at the Wrath of the Waste set for the Barbarian, available both in Softcore and Hardcore. But guys, this isn't just the normal Wrath of the Waste set, this is an EXP or XP build for the Wrath of the Waste, also a speed build as well. So you're going to be able to accomplish sub minute rifts as shown on screen right now and you're going to get a crap ton of experience while doing it so big special shout out to each and every single one of my subscribers and without further ado let's go ahead and jump right on into this build guide so for our main weapon you know what it's got to be man it's the bull Kothos solemn vow two million damage it's so 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 good saying that man two million damage gem of ease in there so right off the bat you're getting eight thousand experience per kill it also has the Season 25 Soul Shard Ethics for dealing the damage done by the Death Blow to all enemies within 25 yards. 34.4% on the cooldown of all skills. 40.9% on the resource cost reduction. And we have the two-piece set bonus for this set. So you're going to get more Fury Generation. And during Whirlwind, you gain 45% increased attack speed and movement speed. Very nice. Level 1 Primal Ancient Set Mighty Weapon. Moving on to the first piece of the Wrath of the Waste set. Uh, it's got some damage, a little bit of strength, critical hit damage, critical hit chance, but the main part is that 1,000 experience per kill. That's going to stack and lead to about 20,000 to 24,000 at the end. So 2-piece, 4-piece, and 6-piece set bonus for the set. No Ring of Royal Grandeur needed, so you can use anything in that jewelry slot that you see fit. There's the 2-piece and 4-piece, and then finally the 6-piece set bonus shown on screen. If you want to pause, by all means, level 1 Primal Ancient set gloves. For the shoulders, again, 10,040, or sorry, 1,040 experience per kill. It's pretty much going to be a constant theme on every single piece of gear. And then we get onto the amulets and rings where it just stacks even more. 200% damage again, a little bit of resist all, a little bit of strength. Moving on to the chest piece. Not too much to talk about on here. Again, that experience per kill, 1,000 all stats is nice and well. As well as 200% uh, damage is always good. Critical damage, critical chance, no strength on here, but you get 1,000 all stats, so you technically get a little bit of strength. Moving on to the helm. 440% critical hit damage, 42.0% critical hit chance, lol. <laughs> 1,040 experience per kill. This has the soul shard in there, the red soul shard, so you're going to cast a devastating ring of fire. That inflicts 20,000% weapon damage to enemies it passes through. You're also, after gaining a level, your resource costs are removed and cooldown on, all, on skills are reduced by 75% for 30 seconds, which is great for the whole theme of this EXP build. And you cast a devastating ring of fire after killing 100 enemies. Cooldown, resource cost reduction, 19 for skills, 10 for resource cost, and 30% damage to elite enemies. That's a level 1 Primal Ancient set home. Now we get into the fun stuff, man. 1,560 experience per kill, but look at how much percent damage to all barbarian skills, man. 1,000 percent damage to all barb skills. That could probably be lowered a lot, so we could add on even more experience in the future. So stay tuned for that, man. I might update these a little bit, see if we can get to uh, 30,000 exp per kill. That would be great. But it has the Blade of Tribes affix on there, so you're going to cause an avalanche after an earthquake after casting both Warcry and Threatening Shout. And they both deal 800% increased damage. It also has the Immortality from Season 25, that Soul Shard, which is basically uh, on receiving Fatal Damage, you get a Shadow Clone that prevents your death. And you get the Rampage passive, and there are the bonuses shown on screen there, right at the bottom. Moving on to the Bracers. These are the Bracers of Fury, codenamed Go Ghost. Uh, Wrath of the Berserker gains the effect of every rune, which is nice, because we're going to be picking that up for this build. 1,300% EXP per kill. Moving on to the offhand, 387,991 damage. Not bad at all. It's got 5,000 regular damage, cold, fire, percent damage, increased attack speed, critical chance, absolute insanity. Killing an elite pack increases move speed by 30% for 7 seconds, and picking up a health globe increases move speed by 40% for 7 seconds. And this also has the affix attacking with whirlwind also applies rend and the total damage of rend is dealt over one second making this a very 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 potent offhand for the first ring this is the test ring 516 for immortality a level one rare ring stacking damage percent damage to all barbarian skills 
experience per kill, and you still get that 70 yards to your gold health pickup radius, which is just insane that we're able to hit these numbers and still keep a lot of this really, really good stuff that you guys all know and love. It's got the Molten Wildebeest Gizzard in there, so you're going to regenerate 160,000 life per second, and the bonuses are shown there at the bottom of the screen. Moving on to the second ring. This is the 1 billion physical skill damage ring. Very good on this uh, setup right here. 800% damage to all barb skills, 50% damage to undead and demons. You get that 1,560 experience per kill. All these other bonuses, not too much to write home about though. The main, main takeaway is that EXP per kill. 61.2% on cooldown of all skills, 46.8% on resource cost reduction, and a whopping 75% damage to the enemies. Moving on to the boots, 1,300 experience per kill again, 1,000 to all stats, 1,000 strength, 200% damage, not too much else to talk about. Moving on to the pants, same experience per kill, 1,300, sorry, yeah, 1,300. Uh, strength uh, from the augment, and you also get an additional 1,125. 200% damage, 30% life, 1,000 all stats. Moving on to the belt. This is Chiliax Chain, codenamed Ghost. The final piece of gear I have to show for you guys today. 1,300% experience per kill, which is just nice. Uh, 1,000 to all stats. And when using Warcry, increase the movement speed for you and all allies affected by 40% for 10 seconds. Very, very nice. Level 1 rare mighty belt. Now this setup right here for skills is mainly focused on speed trying to complete GR 150s in less than one minute. So if you want a speed build, this is the one to go with. For the X ability, you want to pick up in the defensive skill tree Sprint with the Rune Marathon. For your R2 main damage dealing attack in the secondary skill tree, you want to pick up Whirlwind with the Rune Hurricane. For the square ability to get some more mobility, we're picking up in the tactics skill tree Battle Rage with the Rune Ferocity. For some more uh, uh, mo mobility, we're picking up again in that tactic skill tree, Warcry, with the rune charge. And for some more damage, we're picking up in the rage skill tree, Wrath of the Berserker. And remember, this has every rune on there, so it really doesn't matter which one you pick. We went with Insanity. And finally, for even more mobility, we're picking up Furious Charge in that Might skill tree with the rune Cold Rush. Passive number one, Pound of Flesh. Passive number two, Earthen Might. Passive number 3, Berserker Rage, and passive number 4, Brawler, and you get the Rampage off of your amulet, so you don't have to equip that one. Cube powers being Envious Blade, Nem Bracers, and Skull Grasp. Quickly touching on Paragon, you know, you know what I'm going to say, guys. It's everything into Vitality, man. We already know how this rundown goes. Attack speed, you know, uh, cooldown reduction is good. For the defensive skill tree, armor and resist all are going to be the two that I would suggest over everything else. And for utility, um, you know, gold pickup radius to get it to 80 yards. Quickly touching on the final numbers, then we're going to wrap it all up with some gameplay. 1 trillion, 801 billion, 431 million, 416,832 damage. Damn, that was a big freaking number. I thought I was going to mess that one up for sure. 57,000 strength, not too bad at all. Our armor is really topping everything at 98,800. 983, sorry about that. Damage increased by skills, it is showing a value at 35%, which is always nice. Bonus damage to elites, 380%. Moving on down into the critical hit chance and critical hit damage, both capped at the respective values. Moving on down into cooldown reduction, 98.63%. For the damage reduction, 96.58%. Resistances all coming in at 87.91 for every single one. Moving on down into the life stuff, 256% for total life bonus. Life per hit, we don't get any life per kill, man, because we had to affix, you know, the experience. So we're really just getting 335,000, which is like a big number. That's a huge freaking number, by the way. That's a huge, huge amount. I mean, that's like crazy. So yeah, you're good to go. Bonus to gold slash globe radius, suffer 70 yards. Fury cost reduction just under that 95% threshold. So you're going to have to worry about fury management a little bit. But really with that uh, war cry and Threatening Shout always causing avalanches, and then with the passive that gives you 30 fury every time it happens, you, you, you don't got to worry about it, guys. You, you're, good, you're good to go. Movement speed capped, 25%. Total experience, 22,040 experience per kill. Like I said, in, the, in version 2.0, I really want to try to get to that to 30,000, but we're going to lose a little bit of damage. Just so you guys know, 
These are only on version 1. They're still very good though. The range for EXP goes from 20,000 to 25,000 on the uh, different characters. So with all that gone over, we talked about the gear, we talked about the skills, we touched on Paragon, and we went over all of the final numbers so you guys know exactly what you're getting. Now, the fun part, man. We can show you guys how to rock this build. So it's actually really, really easy. Um, you literally just want to cast all of your... Uh, your shouts right when you get into a rift, you know, and then from there on out You're just going to whirlwind and use your sprint ability And when you notice that your shouts and your other skills are starting to run out like for example our Wrath of the Berserker is about to run out. Just cast it again. That's all you literally this, this build is so quick Every time you kill an elite pack you're getting increased movement speed and then you get all these mobility skills on top of that. Like you have your sprint ability, you have your war cry which is going to give you increased move speed, you have your threatening shout which gives you increased move speed as well. So this is a very mobile build right here. This is meant for speed, this is meant for clearing out GR 150s um, as, as fast as humanly possible basically for the barbarian. I mean, if you guys caught it at the beginning of the video, we had a 48 second run with this same build right here. So yeah, definitely capable of hitting sub minute runs. This depends on your rift layout. We definitely got a crappy demo rift right here, but you know how you know how rift goes, guys. You, you know how they go by now, man. You get lucky sometimes, and sometimes you don't. But the uh, final like uh, speed times for clearing GR150s out of 100 runs is right around a minute and a half. So I'd say that is very, very consistent. So like, um, you know how much we love consistency here on the channel, man. Consistency is key for making amazing sets. So that's really all I have to talk about with this set, though. I mean, it's, it's really beginner friendly. You literally just whirlwind everywhere and you just worry about, you know, casting your shouts and your Wrath of the Berserker. And you can use Furious Charge to position your you know a little bit quicker than the sprint so it's kind of like more of a fast dash though than it is really for mobility so yeah a lot of mobility skills on this uh, build right here but like I said it's an EXP speed build so you really need all those to make sure you can get the fastest times possible so I really hope you guys enjoy this set man it's a very 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 potent set man and I think you guys are all gonna like it all of the speed uh, all of the EXP builds are potent so expect more of these builds coming out soon. I'm sorry it took me so long to release these build guides for these EXP builds, man. We've had them out forever on the Discord. So finally, if you're looking for any of the gear shown in this video, all you need to do is hit that link in the description. Sign up for Discord if you're not already a member. It is absolutely free to join, and everything on there is being given away for absolutely free. So finally, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you made it till the end, you're an absolute legend, and I appreciate your support. And finally, I ask, if you like the content style of these videos, then definitely let me know by either dropping a like or hitting that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. So finally, again, thank you all for watching. I hope to catch you all in a future video coming out soon. Stay safe, stay happy, and last but not least, stay gaming, my friends. Peace.